Hi, Gen Chem 1 class, it's Professor Miller. This is our week eight update. So today is the 22nd of March, which is the last day of the seventh week. So that means the last day of middle of the semester. So it's all downhill from here. We only have like six Tuesdays left. So keep it at, keep at it. I know some of us are feeling really tired and overwhelmed and I just wanna let you know that I appreciate the work you're doing and I know you guys are gonna be all right. Everybody is doing a good job of um, you know, doing what they can and that's really, really all I need you to do, all right? And so don't forget office hours. If you feel overwhelmed, come talk to me. Um, I can usually find ways to make studying more efficient for you or um, help you figure out what you need to work on or even just different study strategies, okay? So um, I know it's hard without a spring break, but to kind of simulate a spring break, we, uh, of course, we have our review period last week for lecture. This week in lab, I decided we're not gonna do an at-home experiment, well, for this week or next week. So here's our new schedule. This applies to all labs, not just mine, but the dates will be different because Tuesday's lab is one day prior to mine. All the Wednesday labs are on the same schedule. So I updated this last week. Um, if you are in group A, next week is your break week for lab. This is intended to let you finish up reports that are outstanding. You may have quite a few going on right now because a lot of people were so late getting separation of a mixture completed. Um, and chemical reactions is a pretty big lab report as well. So just because you're not assigned a specific thing in lab doesn't mean you don't have anything to do, right? You probably do have some stuff to work on. If you're not sure, then it's a good thing to ask your professor for lab, um, maybe during their office hours, uh, what you're missing. For group B, your rest week is this week. Again, use the time efficiently, catch up on stuff you're behind on in lab, like lab reports and so forth. Okay. Um, the people in person this week, we get to do the titration experiment. So titration is a really common analytical technique. It's also the only experiment, one single method I've ever been paid a lot of money to do. So, um, Industries use this to tell how much acid is in a sample, right? And acid is in our food all over the place. Sometimes that's the flavor in the food. Sometimes it is uh, preservatives. So all kinds of different ways we can use acids. Um, medicine, many medicines are acidic as well. So you have to titrate them. You can also titrate bases and some, sometimes um, like a compounding pharmacist will do that. Uh, in order to make sure that the dose they make into a liquid form is the correct dose. So this is an important technique to learn. It has a lot of funky glassware in it and a lot of calculations that are pretty specific. So we're gonna build on our knowledge of moles this week in Alex. And so you can see our materials in Alex are connected to understanding titration, all right? And so I'm just going to look at the Alex objectives list here. Uh, we're on doo -doo -doo -doo. our objectives that are due on the 26th for objective five start out in chapter four. These two sections are all about titration calculations. So there's a pre-lab question where um, kind of having explored these Alex topics 4.5 and 4.6 will make it significantly easier to answer the question. But remember, with all of the work in chapter three and chapter four, it's dimensional analysis. That's the expectation on your pre-lab, on your, your exam work, on everything. So um, make sure you check out the videos in uh, module three that is now available about chapter four. So that's all about mol molarity. All right, and so here's the notes and these are the videos about it. Those are the kind of calculations that you're doing in, in the titration experiment, okay? Um, so that's experiment eight for the week. That's if you're in group A. If you're in group B, your task this week is to catch up on your lab reports, make sure everything is all set, okay? Um, 
but remember to take good notes on the Alex topics, especially 4.5 and 4.6, because those apply directly to what you're doing in lab this week. Well, sorry, if you're in group B, it's next week. Um, furthermore, the rest of the materials in Alex this week, chapter five, are gonna feed into an at-home experiment you're doing in a few weeks. So it's experiment number 11. Um, that's a really fun experiment, um, but you have to have a grasp on energy and how energy works. So up until now this semester, we've only been talking about matter and we've kind of ignored energy for the most part. Chapter five is where we jump in and talk about different kinds of energy, how you can convert between different types of energy and how we measure it, all right? And so you're gonna do your own measurement experiment at home in a couple of weeks. So that's related to chapter five as well. So take good notes, study hard. And as always, I'm here. If you can't make it to my office hours and you would like to talk to me, please send me a message in Discord or shoot me an email with your availability and I am happy to meet with you. Um, it's really important to stay on track at this stage. And if I can help you do that, I will.